Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do a daily tarot reading. It will be for March the 1st, Tuesday, March the 1st for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. So let's see what we have in the cards. So I spent a lot of the weekend, we were moving furniture around. And you know, when you kind of say to yourself, it's only going to take about half an hour, three quarters of an hour. Seems like quite a small job. But then you suddenly realize, well, if I move that, that has to be changed. And if we change that, well, we have to do this as well. And yeah, it just ended up taking up the whole weekend. <laughs> so I'm coming here for a break. <laughs> OK, let's see what we have for the day. What do we have for the day for all signs? Message for the day. This will be around Tuesday the 1st of March and remember these readings won't be for everybody so just take what resonates for you as always. Well we've got an increase. This is a cycle so this feels like something's on the up here and it's number three. Now three in tarot I mean the three is a beautiful master number so do look that up but the three in tarot is all about manifesting something new. So we have an increase and I feel it's being manifested or something that's been manifested. We have back and forth, number five, intention. Yeah, this is a feeling that somebody has been very focused on what they want to increase, expand on. But this, there's a feeling of I've been back and forth. This has been a seesaw kind of energy. You can see the seesaw image there, quite like the Two of Pentacles in Tarot, that card. Let's pull one more. We have Deception, number seven, Events. And number four, People, Teacher. There's a feeling of learning or mentor or something here. There's a person, people, some kind of teacher. Let's see what we have. I'm using my original Rider Waite, very used deck. <laughs> so let's see what we have. What do we have for the day? Angel Spirits Guides for all signs. This will be Tuesday, the 1st of March. Thank you. Overarching energy, we have the Five of Cups. Regret, looking back, mourning something that's gone. However, there is still opportunity or there is still hope. But this person doesn't see it right now because they're looking in the wrong direction. We have the Death card. The magician, manifestation, kind of ties in with what we were saying. With that, we have the page of pentacles, the emperor, two of pentacles. I did say back and forth, back and forth. Feeling that kind of energy as well. In the process of manifesting something, it just feels it's been like two steps forward, three steps back. The Ace of Swords, the victory. This is a breakthrough. Wow, what a beautiful reading. And I've got the Page of Wands bottom of this deck. The pages are, are pretty much messengers of tarot. They can be the beginnings of something new, the very beginnings of change. For some of you, there could have been a, a job loss. A, a feeling for sometimes, sometimes an, an establishment energy, a company energy, the Emperor and the Death card. The Death card is the Phoenix rising. The Phoenix is not an easy energy. 
it is an energy of out with the old, in with the new, and the process of that can be quite challenging. However, it leads to something very beautiful, but there is significant release here, releasing from something that needs to be released in order to embrace and make space for the new. That is the beauty of the death card is about shedding an old skin, the catharsis, the release, the energy release, but also maybe things in your external environment. This might have been an ending here, it could have been in money, career, finances, but somebody I feel has been trying to take control, trying to take the initiative, trying to construct a new reality by needing, by wanting to be solid, stable, secure. This is also, again, we have the card of Scorpio here, the death card, and again, Scorpio energy here, which is the energy of mourning something that has gone, but there is still hope in a situation. This is a feeling that somebody feels down, might feel a failure or difficulty in moving on from the past. Could I have done something different? Could I have handled something different? Is there anything else that I could have done? But it is that process of acceptance and release and making space for the new. Two, I feel construct a new reality for yourself. Um, this is about taking control of a, situ now, a, a situation now. Whatever has ended, I feel that there is an opportunity to take control of something and take the initiative. And even though it has felt back and forth while you have been manifesting something, which has let, left somebody feeling still down and still difficulty in moving on from what has ended, this is an energy of you are the magician. These are really big major arcana and they're very influential ones. They're very empowered ones as well. This is really an energy of don't focus on things that don't bring you gain. Don't focus on things that don't serve your energy in terms of manifesting something new because the magician is forward movement. He's interested in what's ahead. He's interested in how he can transform his situation. He's not interested in what's gone. So this is a shift in terms of focus as well. And I feel spirit is encouraging that, the shift in focus that's needed. Because even though things feel back and forth, now this can, this can link also with being financially or needing to be financially savvy. You know, this can be about taking from Peter to pay Paul, balancing the books in some way. However, the message is, even though the situation feels like it's beyond your control, it actually isn't. This person is juggling and dancing at the same time. So even though there is a lot of things that you might be dealing with, to, in order to bring balance back into your life, in order to bring expansion back into your life in money, career, finances, I feel that the magician is saying you have the power, you have the resources, you have the practical know-how. We have the cup the pentacle, the sword, the wand on the table, the four elements of the earth combined with divine energy within you, around you, to manifest this thriving scenery in the external environment of the magician. This is a beautiful energy here of, of focus, stay focused on your intention. This deception energy, I feel... I feel in this energy, this deception and it can, can be self-sabotage. It might well be that things weren't above board in some way, but I'm really feeling in this energy more than anything. It feels more self-sabotage because again, understandably, somebody feels down right now difficulty in moving on from those three cups that are that are lost but there are two cups that are full here still and it's about focusing on that and making that journey to find your flow again because even though you don't see it we have the fortress in the distance which is the the sign of stability and security and success but this person doesn't see it right now and that water is all about embracing how to cross that bridge to a new level of stability and security and success and find your flow. That's what I'm feeling here. Now there might well be somebody giving you, this might be an energy of just put it down to experience, you've learned a lot. Whatever this energy was, it might well be you've learned a lot. There might also be somebody 
a teacher, you might have been learning something or educating yourself in some way. There could be somebody who you're learning from who might, who might be giving you some good advice as well. But there absolutely is this energy of increase coming, which I feel is really beautiful. And the cards are kind of showing that because the page of pentacles is, it can be a message to do with money, career, finances. The page of wands can be a good news energy, can be to do with opportunity, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. But how you've gone about this, how you have been manifesting, there may well have been some educational thing. You might have been learning a different skill or a different industry. You might be, see part of this transformation process as changing industries or maybe translating your skills into maybe another area. And there may well be qualifications or some learning that's been needed to make this happen to create this new reality for yourself. So it does feel for some of you that there is good news coming to do with an opportunity. And it absolutely yeah, has your name on it because you know, the Ace of Swords is that breakthrough energy, but it's brought to you by God, the universe, the divine. It is the sword's energy, it's in truth. So there's a feeling of deservingness here. And it's telling you that you have, you are being given your crown, your crown of power again in association with this page of pentacles because there's a feeling here that somebody you see in the distance there's a lot of mountains and then we have in the foreground finally the victory of the ace of swords so there is a new beginning here it's linked with this page of pentacles and page of wands and it's good news with the ace of swords the mountains suggest that it's not been an easy process because the swords are quite cold they're sharp you know, they, but however, they do represent knowledge, communication, wisdom, and how it has empowered you to move forward on this new journey. So if you have been learning, if you have been teaching yourself something, if you've been learning different industries, like I've said, or got some skills or qualifications to be more attractive in the job market, money market, um, investment market, whatever this is to do with money, it feels to do with, um, planting new seeds there is absolutely an increase coming your way as a result of that beautiful reading very hopeful let me pull a final message final message for the day final message for the day Final message for the day, thank you. Two cards, yeah. We have ascension. Again, another increased energy here on the up. So we've had this energy, the very first card that came out of this reading, one side of the bookend was increase. The last card that is coming out in this reading is ascension. So spirit is telling you that you are on the up. You are on the up. We have golden unicorn. There could be some luck here because the unicorn is quite lucky. Um, awaken to your soul's potential. And then we have flamingo, unity heart. You are being called on to work on collective healing. Yeah. I, I just feel for some of you, there is an energy of, of, yeah, bottom of the deck balance. You see where somebody was trying to get balance back into their life, balancing money. There's a feeling here with Panda, balance, ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. I just feel that the balance is coming back with this increase. It's felt very much back and forth, whatever journey you've been on here. Uh, it does feel like an ending happened here, but somebody is certainly trying to now be in their power to embrace the change, to manifest something. And it hasn't been easy. It's been a bit of a rocky road, but there is a breakthrough coming. It feels very beautiful indeed with the Ace of Swords. So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.